Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to part four of the countertop videos. Last part, we're finally done with them. Today I'm gonna to show you how we did the clear coat on the top, so stick around. So, first time ever doing something as big as this, and let me tell you, uh, it was hard. It took a lot of time, but I'm glad I did it. Um, learned a lot of different things, and if you haven't seen the first three videos, check them out. The first one, I'll show you how I made the countertops, and the second one, I showed you how I cut out the sink right here. And the third one, I showed you how I installed them and stained them. So check those out. But let's go ahead and get started. Before we do, guys, real quick, if you like the channel, if you want to see more videos like it, please hit that like and that subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. It helps out. It just lets YouTube know that the channels are the channel. It just lets YouTube know that the videos are good content and people actually want to watch them. So if you do want to keep watching them, please hit that like and that subscribe down below. And if you're looking for a quick on the go snack guys, check out builtbar.com. Uh, they are uh, the best protein bars that I've ever had. Um, they're good for you and they're delicious, something that I eat when I'm at a job site, when I'm at the shop, whenever I'm working on something, just a quick snack. And they got this new flavor. Ah, trying to zoom. It is birthday cake, and that one is running from yesterday, I believe, until the 25th of May. So, check them out. Use the code BB20 for 10% off. Link is down below. And if you're watching this in the future, Check them out, BuiltBar.com. I'm sure they have some good flavors going around right now. So let's go ahead and get started with the video, guys. All right, guys, so last step is going to be um, clear coating these. We're just gonna use a polyurethane for the countertops and we're using the True Coat 360. All right, and this comes with two tips. I have a 12 inch here and the 4 inch which we're going to be using for this. I haven't tried this one for this yet and we're using the Verathane oil based polyurethane. Um, I know I have one of the bigger ones that right now is out of commission because it is broken. I need to change the pump part but this one I borrowed from my father-in-law and he says it works well so we're going to try it out see how it works with this stain. Hopefully you don't have any problems so we can spray it. I didn't want to bring out a whole big sprayer because then we'd have to buy a whole gallon of this at least and we'll be able to get it through the pump and the hose. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is the top of the can. This is the holder and it comes with these little... Oh, that's what those little bendy plastic cups were for at the office. Yeah. Alright, then you have this little valve here that you open up. You really let the air out as much as we can.
Hey everyone. So, technical difficulties yesterday with the sprayer. Um, so I'm gonna do the second coat with the roller. Um, we're using a purdy frame and the sponge type of roller. It's supposed to give you a smooth finish similar to a sprayer. So we're just gonna pour some out on the countertops and then roll a coat. And hopefully that'll be the last coat. We'll see once it dries. We did sand uh, and then wiped off all the little sand dust in between coats. time ever attempting anything like this um, I'm new new to woodworking and stuff like that so it's this is the first time that I tried anything big like this uh, did not come out perfect um, I don't have a planer so I had to plane by hand so I can feel a little bit of the waves on the countertops um, and just other little imperfections uh, but all in all for what I spent on this I, I really like how it came out we spent around $250. I used straight two by sixes from uh, Lowe's Home Depot. Low Home Depot. And we just glued them all together, sanded, filled, planed them, and then installed them. And this is what we came out with, guys. So, in total, we spent under $250. Um, not including the sink. So the sink was around 195, I think. We got it off Amazon. And the, um, faucet was also under $80, I think, off of Amazon as well. But the actual countertop materials we have here, you can see. So we have washers. The fasteners for the installation, the cabinet screws, uh, wood filler to fill in cracks and gaps, uh, the golden pecan interior stain, uh, two quarts of the satin uh, polyurethane, and we use 10 two by sixes by eight feet for a total of 198.60. That's before taxes, so it was under $250 though. So I think for $250 compared to other countertops, um, we're on a budget, but I think it came out great. As always guys, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. 
if you like the video if you want to see more videos like this please hit that like that subscribe down below it just tells youtube that you like it and you want to see more of it and it's free so thank you guys for checking out the video and if you want to see the rest of them be sure to check them out uh, part one through three and also the rest of the project house playlist make sure you check that out so you can see where we started later guys